What I want to talk about today is about the importance and the power of collaboration and um, uh, the, uh, I would say, the, how important it is for me as a state level representative to have somebody locally that I can count on. Uh, right now, as you all know, we are in a real crisis and the crisis is deep. It's deep and it's going to be long lasting. We're facing around 30% unemployment here in our district, and many of those jobs are not going to come back soon or at all. We have done some work at the state level, and certainly City of LA and some of the other parts of the district have done work in preventing people from becoming uh, evicted and suddenly homeless because of COVID, but that could change. And I can tell you that there are people who are losing their housing right now because of COVID. There are people who are food insecure and, and going hungry who have never gone hungry a day in their life, people who are calling my office, who are worried for the first time ever about losing their apartment, about not having enough food, not knowing what the future is going to bring for them and their family. This is no time to be in a position where we bicker amongst ourselves as elected officials, where we can't work in concert. And I will tell you that David is somebody who I know I can always pick up the phone and call directly. I can always text. And it's been like that since he's been in office. When there's an issue, he calls me. He does not have the kind of sharp elbows that I, tell, I will tell you are common in politics. He does not have that sense of ownership. He, whenever there's an event that he thinks that I should be at or my office should know about, he calls or his staff calls. He works in a collaborative way. He shares. And he does all this because he puts his community first and he knows that he, we need every single elected to be fully engaged and to have the tools that they need to serve the community. And he's willing to put that above himself being in the spotlight, himself being the only one at an event, the only one at a ribbon cutting, the only one to be there to say, I'm the only person fighting for you. David doesn't do that. David works to say, I am working with your state representatives. I am working with your federal representatives to bring what I need to bring back into the community. And that doesn't always happen. He puts that collaboration in front of trying to push himself first into the spotlight. And that's going to be even more important as we continue through this whole COVID crisis. I need somebody that I know I can work with. I need somebody that I know will fight for his community. I, know so, I need somebody that I know will put the needs of his residents before his own political ambitions, and that's David Rue. And in some ways, that's putting him at a disadvantage when he runs because he has not been the guy out there trying to always be in the, the front page of the paper or always be the one to claim that he single-handedly solved problems. He's been willing to, to share that with others and to take a back seat, to be the guy behind the scenes. Well, David, you can't be behind the scenes right now. You've got to be willing to not be so modest and to sing your own praises. But I'll tell you that the rest of us are going to do that for you as we go into this race and to explain all the, all the work that you've done that the public doesn't see. Uh, I need you there. Your community needs you there. And we're going to be there with you 100%.